This is a demonstration on stripping the wallpaper in your cubicle. So you're each going to have an area, you might have a cubicle end or a cubicle. The first thing we do is we dry strip any areas that will come off. Now to do that, you get your scraper, make sure it's done bend, if it bends it's a filling knife. Find the joints of the paper and then see if you can get the top off. Okay, just like that, that's a little bit tricky that one. If it's really tricky, we stop there, it's a matte finish. Okay, we'll go on to the next bit. So this here we've got some yellow paper, we found the joint. This one, we're going to do this one, we're just going to take the face off, like that, so this is an easier one. Take the whole of the cubicle, we're going to take what we can off, dry. Once we've got to the point where we can't take any more off dry, what you'll get is you'll get your bucket with your water and your six inch wetting brush and you will start to soak the wall from top to bottom. See there, we're just painting the water onto the wall. Now that, what that's going to do is going to soak through the paper and it's going to go right the way through to the adhesive. The reason I can't get that off is because the adhesive is too strong. So the water is going to penetrate that paper, soak through to the adhesive, and then because the adhesive is reversible, it will soften it. So if you add water to adhesive, it will just soften it. So that's everything we can after we've dried stripped. Then we'll wet it again. Yeah, the more you wet it, the easier it'll be. Now Jamie has wet this bit in, you can see that is just falling off there. Yeah, that means the glue's been softened and it just comes off so easy. Just like this here, look. That won't come off dry, but just because it's been wet, that melt is just coming along. So that's how we strip wallpaper.